Cash from the Capital states that donations have tripled since the last year. Ow, that hurts, Mum. Just put up with it. Police, we're coming in! Did you hear that? You know what to do. Quick, get into the basement. Are you the Bilford family? Yeah, that's right. What are you here for? Two days ago, one of you ran a red light. Hang on, we don't even own a car. Yeah, we sold it like two years ago. Well, the car's still registered under your name, so you'll have to pay the penalty. Now hang on a minute, I'm not losing my child just because of some dumb paperwork. Oh my god, you've killed him! Don't worry lady, it's only stun. But I won't be if you don't hand over the child. <laughs> Mom! Dad! No! A report from Community Services says that some families no longer have children. Oh darling, how absurd! Some people don't even have children anymore! Yes, I agree. It's highly unlikely. I think we may have hundreds? Thousands, maybe? Yes, quite possible. I lost count after number 600. I'm just going to go and check on your test results. So what's the damage? Well, um, he has a severe concussion. He won't be able to make sense of things for a while. So what happened? I was collecting a donation when someone jumped me. What happened to the child? Someone must have taken him. That's the seventh time this week! What does this mean? It means trouble. Good evening, I'm Agatha Halberry, and tonight I'm talking to President Hum. Mr. President, there's been a lot of protests about donations recently. What do you have to say about this? People need to realize that they have to play their part and our society will fail. Okay, Mr. President, I want you to watch this video. Someone needs to tell President Hum if we keep donating children, we're going to have no people left. The opinion of a few idiots shall not determine the future of our nation. Um, excuse me, Father. You know what? Um, I was going to play with Lucy, but I can't find her. Oh yeah, I don't need her. But she was my favorite sister. You have a hundred others, just go find one. Mr. President. Don't come, I need a favor. Anything for you? Um, I need to find out who that girl is in the video and I need to take her out. No problem. You there! Why are you here? I haven't done anything. We need you to come with us. Here, take this. Oh wait, can I have it back? I don't want you to see the pictures. Why did you let her get away? Isn't my son to see the pictures yet? There's, n there's literally nothing on it. Are we there yet? Nah, there's like a, another 10 minutes. Father, are, we, are you gonna ever donate me? No, you know you're my favorite. So, you've been involved in a car accident. I'm gonna charge you with dangerous driving. It will cost you one donation. Is this your donation here, sir? Don't ever point at my child again. Sir, you're gonna have to donate a lot more children for pulling a gun on me. Stand down. What? Stand down. I just checked the Smiths. I guess this is your usual fee. Right, you are, Don Kong. You go way over there. Alright, come on, you lot. Come on! Hey, how can I help you? Hey, you're that girl on TV, Brennigan. Yes, I'm Brennigan. How can I help you? Uh, I need you to work for free. Hey, buddy. What is it? Hey, it's me, Brannigan. I can help you, but it won't be legal. So let's keep it quiet. Hey, you that guy, yeah. Uh... Cobra! Yeah, keep it quiet, man. The time and address is on this pad. Meet me there. Oh, thanks, Cobra. Now get lost. And now, a message from our exalted leader, President Hump. Citizens. This new act of terrorism has forced my hand. I will now invoke a lottery and if you get notified, you must make a donation. The needs of our nation outweighs the needs of our people. I'm doing my part, are you? I'm donating my children, are you? Excuse me! I'm sorry lady, you bumped me too. What's her to 
does she think she is? Honestly. Police! What is it? That lady over there attacked me! Hey! Looks like we've seen you before. It's gonna cost you. I don't have any children. Looks like you're gonna have to come with us. Right, you know the laws. No kids, you'll be executed. Hold up, this lady isn't talking to a lawyer yet. Oh no, not you, Brannigan. I'm Agatha Halberry, reporting live from downtown. There's been reports of several riots that the police and army are trying to contain, but they're getting too out of hand. It's a lot of noise out there. I need to go outside and shut them up. Yes, Mr. President. Detective Smith, all my men have gone outside. I need to keep an eye on just in case they break in. Got it! This just in. Rebels have stormed the capital and taken the president as hostage. We believe that a live feed is coming out of the president's office. Let's cross over and take a look. The president has been lying to you. The children of the rich have not been donated. Your children are used for lab experiments. We find the president guilty of failing our nation. And that's why it's time for the president to make a donation. Oh, Don Kong, thank goodness you're here. Get me out of here. The time has changed, President. But all the wealth I've given you. It's not about the money. It's about the power. And from where I'm standing, I've got more. No, Don Kong, don't just leave me here. Don Kong! A lot has happened in the capital in the past week. The people have elected a new president. Let's hope he's less corrupt than the other one. Now let's meet him. just in case they break in. Got it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're going to have to come with us. <laughs> Quite possible. I lost count up to number six. <laughs> Are you the Billford family? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 